single five years, no sex for five years. Yeah, this is Ray with G Works, Titus chapter 2, verse 14. Zealous of good works, eager to doing what is good. G Works is a business that represent dirt for gold, reach eternal life through Christ, and keep the cross moving. As um, keep the cross moving. Single, five years, no sex for five years. So single for five years, no sex for five years. This is the woman I was married to. This is the woman I was married to. Her name is Rissa. Um, that's my son. Jaden, uh, that's my son Ray Keem, my son Jaden, daughter Beja, and me and Rissa. And um, G Works, Titus chapter 2, verse 14, cross movement clues, Matthew chapter 10, 32 through 39, love God more than family of few. Love God more than family of few. And this is the artist is around, you know, me trying to find new purposes around my family that my, my wife that I've been divorced from were separated and we, um, we probably just didn't get along. So we're separated. I'm finding new purpose around my family within cross movement, history, within elements, gospel, hip hop, rap music, um, Tony, R&B, gospel music, Tadishi, as um, he's in my radio, he's playing in my radio right, right this minute. He's saying he make war, he kills, his, he kills his flesh, he fights against his own flesh, this is what I said. This I say then: Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Ambassador, the thesis, trip lead 2020, and frantic worldwide tribe. And these are all people that's like trying to find new purpose and trying to lay it down for the gospel's sake. And find new purpose within the passion of Christ. And this is what I'm saying. Love God more than family of few. And as you know, the family of few, Steve, Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey hosts the family of few on TV. And I'm just saying, you know, um, that family of feud on television, they dispute a lot. Feud means dispute. So it's just a game within the family of feud. But I also understand the family is like the TV show Mari, where there's a lot of drama within the family. So as the scripture says, if anyone openly acknowledge me publicly before men here on earth, I will openly acknowledge that person before my father in heaven. But if anyone confess me before men here on earth, I will confess that person before my Father in heaven. Don't imagine that I came to bring peace to the earth. No, I came to bring a sword. I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Your enemies will be right in your own household. If you love your father or mother more than you love me, you're not worthy of being mine. If you love your son or daughter more than you love me, you're not worthy of being mine. If you refuse to take up your cross and follow me, you're not worthy of being mine. If you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give it up for Christ's sake and the gospel's sake, you will find it. And, um, it's, and um, this is a gospel... Um, uh, gospel, let's look at a gospel DVD on the gospel of Matthew and, and 
and look at the way look at the words of Jesus and what and what he says about family. And um and um this is not how Jesus looked like in real life, but this is a representation of Je of Jesus Christ and and let's get a brief look at the teachings of Jesus Christ. And this representation of Christ. Whoever acknowledges me before men, I will also acknowledge him before my Father in heaven. But whoever disowns me before men, I will disown him before my Father in heaven. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Anyone who loves his father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Anyone who loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. So, as you can see, whoever loses their life for the gospel's sake will find it. Whoever bears their cross as um, um, the cross, whoever bears their cross will reach this eternal place in the new Jerusalem in the kingdom of heaven. You know, as in prophecy, the book of Revelations. And um, it's not easy trying to get to the kingdom of heaven. But whoever overcomes this world and the, the family of few, the family of few on television and the Mari, the drama, the baby mama's dramas will get to heaven. And, um, and um, as, as, um, as I was saying again, single five years, no sex for five years. And um, yeah, I've been on, yeah, I've been on some dates, dates with women. And I've had a couple of women in my apartment, but um, things, nothing really happened between me and these women. You know, I showed these women my um, rules as um, the characteristics of um, evil. And one of the characteristics of evil is fornication and um, adultery. And um, I showed them my rules and, you know... You know, some of these some of these women still um, don't want to obey the rules a rules of marriage and getting married. So I've been single for five years, no sex for five years, and I just tell these women that I go on dates with. You know, I'm not going to have sex until I get and get married, and they pretty much don't want to obey the rules rules of the Bible. And most of these are worldly women who I talk to. And I talk to women in the church as well. I talk to women in the church as well. And some of these women in the church are the same way as well. So it's not easy. Um, again, let's look at those clues again. Um, love God more than the family of feud. And... Um, that's my ex-family, um, divorce, and I'm trying to find new purpose around the family within gospel, hip-hop, music, and within um, the Bible. And um, some more clues, cross-movement clues, feel, s s s feel severely distressed, sorry, turn from doing evil, all have done evil. Cross movement clues, a change of mind, change one's mind within the Bible, and turn from evil. This is Ray with G Works representing the cross and keeping the cross moving.
I'm out.